Hi, I'm Andrew Childers for Storyblocks, and in this screencast, I'll teach you how to create slow motion video in Adobe Premiere. I'm already working in Premiere here, and I've set up a project that is at 30 frames per second. But this lesson will show you that you can slow down even standard footage. So now, I've got a video clip that's also at 30 frames per second that I grabbed from the Storyblocks library. I'll go ahead and put it on the timeline, and it brings it in at the FPS of the project. I can of course hit the space bar to see it play a preview, and now we want to slow it down to that slower view for a nice slow motion effect. So what I'm going to do here is actually right click on the clip in the timeline and choose speed slash duration. Now on this pop-up window, I can slow the footage down to a percentage of the original. Let's try out 70% here. Now the secret to really making this work nicely is changing the time interpolation drop down. Changing this to optical flow means that Premiere is more or less going to guess at those frames in between to create the slow-mo effect. I'm going to press OK and now I'll preview it again by pressing spacebar. This works quite well considering that the source material didn't even have enough frames to create proper slow motion. Now this is how you take regular video footage and slow it down, but ideally you have high frames per second footage that actually has the frames needed for proper slow motion. The Storyblocks library has a lot of slow motion footage that's actually ready to use. This is footage that's been shot at high frames per second rates and then has been slowed down to more standard rates so that it appears in slow motion. So I'll just download one of these clips and then drop it into Premiere. You can see as I play the preview that it plays back in slow motion automatically because it's been slowed down by the videographer. It's really easy to create slow motion video in Premiere whether you have source footage that was high FPS or standard. I'm Andrew Childress for Storyblocks and thanks for learning with me.